Yeah, what up, though? What's going on, man? Hopefully, y'all had a good day today. I did. Um, didn't get a chance to break. Uh, 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 um, I didn't get a chance to um, tweet out no lineups or put anything in the um, community section today. My fault. Uh, I was at work. Just got off work. Uh, Love the slate today. We got 12 games. We got enough time for me to get out here and uh, we got enough lines out for me to uh, elaborate. So I figured I'd do it right now. Like I said, it's 12 in the morning, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, we know we've been doing this shit the whole, for a long time. Like I said, if you're new for this channel, uh, it's us against the books, man. I try to give out some leans, the news, notes, some picks, and everything. You know what I'm saying? To prepare, to prepare you for the day. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody uh, who's been rocking with me. And I do give out, you know, um, same game parlays, uh, lower odds that you can, you know, help, that you can add to your same game parlays or, uh, you know, your, your same game parlay plus or whatever the fuck you call it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it is what it is with that. So uh, welcome. Um, we got 12 games. Let's jump right into it. We got uh, Dallas Mavericks at um, Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, we don't have props out for this one. Uh, Dallas Mavericks favorite, I mean, uh, Philadelphia 76ers favorite by uh, three here, okay? Um, oh, we do have some props out for this one. Okay, yeah. So, right off the back, I mean, you got Jokic going up against Luka, man. Both of these guys can really go absolutely ham today. Uh, so, that's something, you know, uh, you know, we can look at. Um, so, you know, Luka Doncic is a double, double, triple, double threat in any given night. All right. Uh, but, you know, Dallas, on the other hand, you know, they just been on fire. I mean, uh, they 4-0 they against the spread in their last four games as an underdog. They 7-0 against the spread in, in, in their last seven games. They four and zero against the spread as a role underdog, and they seven and zero against the spread as a underdog. So you know they've been covering like a mother, all right. Uh, and the under, you know, they've been playing defense. The under is four and zero against uh, teams with uh, a, a winning record. So you know they they just been you know they've been balling. Now on the other hand, um, um, on the other hand. 76ers, they are, you know, they they ain't been covering the spread. They ain't been doing none of the above, okay? They ain't been doing none of the above. So, you know, that's just how it is, all right? Uh, these teams played one time this year. Uh, Dallas won that game, though. You know, they beat, they beat, they beat, they beat them. Uh, they beat them. Uh, what was the score? 107 to 98. Uh, Embiid, you know, he, he, he had 27 and, uh, 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 um, um, Doncic had 33, six for nine for three. You know the drill. You know what I'm saying. So it is what it is with that situation there. Um, everything here, you know, outside of the three ball, you know, I'll have some interest in the three ball. You guys know how and what I do with the three ball, how that works. You know what I'm saying. But you know, it is what it is outside of that. Um. One prop that I've been riding here has been the Maxi under. <clears throat> Hello. None, 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 none. I'm um, I'm recording. I hit you back or whatever, or text me, whatever the case may be. Uh. Yeah. Um. My fault, y'all. Uh. Yeah, so uh damn, what was that? Oh yeah, the three balls in play. And yeah, Maxi. Uh, his 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 assist prop has been coming out around uh three and a half. I've been taking the under on that. I think they hit five out of his last six games. Uh nothing official, it's just you know, it's just what I've been doing. All right, you know what I'm saying? So uh you wanna take a stab at that, you know, uh be my guest. Just letting you know how, where I've been with that. Of course, Joel and Beat is questionable. But as far as the under on assist, yeah, it, it been coming out at four and a half. Uh, I I caught it. I jumped on it. I've hit it three out of the last four games. But you know, it's hit. Oh shit! It's hit three out of the last four games. Right. So uh, that's just something. You know, a pace down matchup. You know, good defense. 
you know, I, I could see that happening. I could see that happening. Uh, yeah. So, uh, let me keep it moving. All right. Cause we got a lot of games. Um, Brooklyn Nets at, uh, I mean, Portland Trail Bridges at Brooklyn Nets. We got 225 and a half over under in this one. And I mean, you know, there's going to be no Kyrie so far. Uh, and, you know, it's, that's, it be shit. I came, I came back Portland in this one. All right. I came back Portland in this one. Um, now, what I've been riding here, uh, we know, uh, this is a great spot for uh, Kevin Durant, okay? And uh, some plays that I like here, we want to see what the injury report going to be like because uh, there's a possibility we might have or we might not have uh, Seth Curry, all right? So so um, let's talk about guys, somebody like Bruce Brown, all right? Now, I read, you know, his assist prop going to come out around two and a half. Uh, I, I I took him for uh, four assists the last two games. He had five, eight, five, zero, five, five, three. That was his last assist total. Uh, I got that four assists at about probably about plus one seventy five last game. So you know uh, he's been handling the ball and don't don't um get it twisted. He's a really really good re- rebounder as well. Um, he scored double figures in um eleven of his last fifteen games. Uh, he's just been playing some really good, solid basketball. Then you got um, um, uh, Goran Dragic. You know, he's going to really be in play, at least for points, if uh, we don't have any um, Seth Curry. And then uh, some props that I've been really, really riding on, you know, the Andre Drummond, the double-double, that's in play. His rebound props should be in play, too. Uh only thing you got just got to be leery, man, because of the minutes he's been, you know, they be fucking with his minutes. I mean, he has 17, 14 points and 17 rebounds against Dallas, but he only played 22 minutes. Um, 18, he had 10 and 6. He played 18 minutes against Orlando. He had 10 and 6. Then he played 27 minutes against the Knicks, 18 and 10. 21 minutes. I mean, you get the drift. So, you know, uh, he's somebody who can get them numbers, you know, them double doubles in a hurry. You, you guys already know the drill. I've been riding that, and then Eubanks. I've been riding the shit out of his motherfucking rebound prop. It's been one of my favorite props. All right? He's been hitting it every game, and then he's been jumping in that uh, point category as well. He's had a double-double in um, three, two out of his last three games. Rebounds totaling out in 9, 10, 12, 7, 7, 8, 8, 10. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Those are some of the favorite, my favorite looks there until, favorite, until further notice. We don't have any props out for this game here. Uh, player performance doubles going to be in play in favor, for, for me, in favor of Brooklyn Nets. It's going to be the Brooklyn Nets or nothing for me in that one. Los Angeles Lakers at Toronto Raptors here, 224 and a half over under. These teams just played. Uh, Toronto Raptors beat them by 11. They got off to, a, a tw- I think, a 20 to 2 start. So uh, this is a rematch. The rematches should always tend to be a little bit tougher. But who knows? Last time these two teams played, I took Scotty Barnes, 15 points in the win, player performance double, and they came through for me. And then I hit a nasty um, 25-legger uh, same-game parlay. On, you know, but it is what it is. I mean, it, it wasn't nasty. I, I, I skimmed the shit out of their ass, man, but it is what it is. Uh yeah, but there's no um no no props out for this one. Uh um uh, so um Toronto. Uh they've been playing some good ball. Uh they the under six and no in their last six games is a favorite. Uh the under is four and oh in their last four games is a home favorite. And uh the under is uh four and oh in their last four home games. And the Raptors, they are five and oh against the spread. Overall, all right, in their last five games. Uh, between these two teams, I mean, if whatever was worth, the under is five and two in their last seven meetings in Toronto, all right? I don't have to talk about the Lakers because the Lakers been getting their ass whooped. Uh, they did try to fight it to claw their ass they had their way back here. Um, until further notice, I don't know about that spread. I mean, it's definitely doable. I need to see what's going on with the injury situation here. Do are we gonna get are we gonna get some Fred Van Vliet? What you know what I'm saying? So uh, 
that's one one guy that I have uh you know that, that I have on my radar, you know what I'm saying? Uh okay, so he did he's not even questionable. All right, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. All right, no props out for this one. Um only way I can look towards is uh Toronto um undecided on that spread. It definitely can happen. It just happened. So uh I don't know. Uh the total sitting at uh two twenty four and a half. We'll think about it. I'll think about it. Memphis Grizzlies at uh, Atlanta Hawks here, 236 over under in this one. Um, <clears throat> Grizzlies five-point favorites on the road. Uh, these two teams just played. Um, they Well, not just played, but they did play back in November. And uh, Atlanta Hawks, they went out there and they just rubber banded their ass. They beat them by 32. And... Uh, you know, that was around November that, you know, we didn't know this Memphis team was going to be doing what they're doing now. And um, I think Memphis might have this motherfucking game circled, all right? Uh, the over is 4-0 in the Grizzlies' last four games overall. They've been scoring, they've been going over, and they've been carrying other teams over as well. Um, yeah, so everything is trending over. I mean, the over is 4-0 in the Grizzlies' last four games after allowing 100 points some more. Uh... The overs four and on the last four when the opponent scored a four hundred, I mean a hundred, a hundred or more points. So you know it's just been everything has been going over. Now Atlanta, on the other hand, as an underdog, the under is is, is they 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 four and oh, you know, as an underdog in their last four games as an underdog, um, and uh, at home. You know, the Hawk, the over is 6-0 and in the Hawks' last six home games versus a team with a winning record, okay? Um, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, we're going to keep an eye out for the uh, – uh, 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 keep an eye out for the um, John ja, 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 ja Morant status here. Um, right off the back, I just – hey, it's Memphis Grizzlies for me or nothing, even on the road. I got to roll with Memphis on this one. Um, they're going to have to crack me upside the head. Uh, you can add this number to your money line parlays if you want to. Uh, the minus 215, it is what it is. Uh, I don't even know about the over in this one. I don't want to bet no total in this one. Um, but, yeah, yep, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards Memphis in this one here. Uh, Washington Wizards at New York Knicks here, uh, 224 over under in this one. Oh, um, the rebound props, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have some real interest in um, – um, Steven Adams rebound prop here. Uh, Capella has been giving up the rebounds for sure, for sure. All right. Now, uh, mm, yeah, Washington Wizards at New York Knicks here. Um, 224 over under in this one. New York Knicks favored by five on at home. And New York Knicks have been rolling as of late. So uh, ain't that something, all right? Uh, so, um, I mean, I know I read earlier. Matter of fact, let me see. Yeah, well, um, yeah. So Washington, they just been trending over. Okay, we got we got two twenty four over under in this one. All right, so uh, the over is uh, five and zero in a, in their last five games, five no ATS loss. Um, the over is six and zero in the Wizards' last six games, five no straight up L. Um. I mean, the over is 7-0 in the Wizards' last seven games after allowing 100 points or more. I mean, it's just over. And then New York Knicks, they trending over. Fun fact, I mean, the over they, the over is 6-0 in the Knicks' last six home games. Uh, one thing here, they 7-0 against the spread in their last seven games. That's one thing. They've been playing some ball. Um so yeah, between these two teams though, the Wizards are eleven to four against the spread, and the under is nine to four in the last thirteen minutes between these two teams. But these teams are really, really different right now. All right, they're really, really different. All right, so <laughs> these New York Knicks they've been running a really, really tight rotation here. Uh, so uh, and the usage, you know, the usage has been going. I mean, what you see from these guys is what you get. R.J. Barrett, you know, his usage has been there. And Julius Randle, the usage has been there, and and uh, uh, Evan Fournier, um, uh, I want to say seventy percent, seventy to eighty percent of his shots is coming from behind the arc. So, you know what I'm saying? So these are your bucket getters. These are going to be your three point shooter. And Alec Burks, uh, he, he's taking a hit on the usage, but he's going out there. He's rebounding and getting assists though. All right. 
And then Mitchell Robinson. All right. So Mitchell Robinson, you know, his point props in the eight and a half. Uh, if I go there, I might as well be going to the double double, which I got interest in the double double. Uh, but you know, Mitchell, uh, 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 Mitchell Robinson, he's going to go out there and rebound the ball. All right. So I got interest in this rebound prop. Okay. Definitely. You know, without a doubt, uh, um, last time these two teams played, he fouled out, man. That's crazy. I don't know what happened with that. Um, but he fouled out. And, uh, you know, it is what it is with that situation. I don't really get to the point props for these guys often. Uh, uh, some plays that I do like right here, that's why I like to jump on these early lines. Uh, you're going to get a plus money uh, prop for the uh, – because this is probably going to end up going up. Uh, but, you know, in same game parlays, I'm not supposed to get into to, to, uh, to eight. You know what I'm saying? That's a decent number for parlays and a minus 250. All right? If you, I don't, I'm not, I, I really put his rebounds up there, but he's averaging almost 10. So if you feel like, you know, an eight rebound for Julius Randle, you're going to get that right there, plus money right then and there, okay? Uh, I do have some interest in uh, the assist prop for, um, uh, 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 well, the four assists for um, Julius Randle and uh, Alec Burks, okay? So uh, these, they've been getting the rebound. I mean, they've been getting assists, okay? And then uh, Alec Burks have been sitting around there getting like them four rebounds. He's been living in that uh, area as well. So uh, that's an honorable mention for me to put him in there. Uh, so, you know, it's pretty juiced up, but, yeah, I can fit him in there. Uh, so uh, this is a player pool right here of players that I, you know, of, of stats that I want to get to. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Any, any three of these to get you the plus money. And then, you know, the three ball. You know, it is what it is. Uh, really, who, who, what I'll be looking at for the three ball, tell you the truth, um, it probably wouldn't only be anybody like uh, only uh, uh, maybe two for Caldwell Pope and maybe two for uh, or three for uh, uh, Evan, Evan Fournier. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's if I feel like fucking with him, uh, Evan Fournier. I could really take him down. But you know what I'm saying? We're not, I'm not trying to miss. I'm not trying to miss. Right now, I'm not trying to take no chances. You know what I'm saying? It's all up from here. Um, <clears throat> slight lean towards the Knicks. Uh, they've just been playing really, really hard as of late. That's a slight lean, okay? It's a slight lean. We'll see what's going on. We'll see what's going on. Now, they should have bust their ass, though. Um, um, what we got here? Denver Nuggets at um, Cleveland Cavaliers here. Um, 221 and a half over under. These two teams played in the beginning of the season. And, uh, you know, that was when everything was cool, man. <laughs> we was roll. I was rolling. We was rolling with Cleveland, rolling with this, rolling with Cleveland like a motherfucker, boy. We, they, we was cashing from hell. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, uh, let me see. Um, so right off the back, uh, Denver, you know, they've been playing some really, really good basketball, man. I mean, you know, they have won, uh, they won seven out of their last 10. You know what I'm saying? They, they just, they just really, 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 really playing good ball. Now, uh, uh, what do we have here? The one thing that, you know, really, really stuck out to me is, uh, you know, them, they eight and one against the spread in their last nine road games. So they're going on the road and they playing, you know, they're playing good ball. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the over for the Nuggets, you know, the over is playing is it, 3 0 1 in their last four games following an ATS win. Now, Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? Uh, things have been tr trending over for them a little bit. Uh, the over is 5 1 in their last six games as an underdog, and the over is 5 1 in their last six games as a home un underdog. Um, the under, I mean, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, they 4 0. And one against the spread, and after playing on uh, one day's rest, so you know they 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 really tend tend to play pretty good, you know, coming off uh, one game's rest here. Don't have any props out for this one. Uh, we do. Okay. Well, you know me. Uh, I'm going right on over to the assist prop nine and a half. Don't mind getting there, cause you know it, it, it's it, you know it's my boy. It's my boy. Um, you know. But I do like the matchup going up against Monte Morris. We know Nikola Jokic's triple double threat, whatever the case may be. We ain't got to talk about him. Um, the three ball here now. Um, Darius Garland has been a little bit cold from behind the arc, but how can I not take this? I can't. I can't go without taking that. 
All right, so uh, plus one twenty for somebody who got four, five, three upside. I mean, and and the usage that he's gonna garner. Sign me up. It's not an official play, but you know I'm playing it. You know what I'm saying I'm playing it. Don't mind getting to two threes for Will Barton. When he hits him, he hits him by the twos. And then you know if I want to do a little three point parlay, I can go for two for him, a Garland, two for Marketing, two for uh, Will Barton. Okay, uh, rebounds. Um, Markin has been rebounding the ball pretty well lately, man. They got it juiced up to six and a half now. Um, I don't think I will be able to get there. No, I will not. So, you know, those are a few plays right there that I'm really uh, thinking about uh, throwing in the, in the player pool. Uh, oh, yeah, if I want to get to a assist prop, uh, I'll come down to an eight for Darius Garland. That will go in there. You know what I'm saying? So um, not looking on the Denver side right now. Uh, these are some of the players that I really, really, really – Want, want, might try to get to, you know what I'm saying? Even if I have to take down Will Barton threes and, uh, you know, something like that. I mean, two threes and uh, eight assists for somebody like Garland. And you guys can finish off the rest. You know, it is what it is. And, I, you know, I can put anything with that to get it to plus money. It's just, you know, it's just self-explanatory. Um, As far as a lean in this game, I don't have one. Uh, Denver Nuggets are on the road. Uh. They have been coming out pretty good at the end of the second half. They have been falling off. You know what I'm saying? If you find teams like that, uh, you find teams like that, you know what I'm saying, who you think they could probably, like, come out swinging in the first quarter or something like that. Like, so let's see. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Right. So they have first quarter full game. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and in football, they have first half and full games. They might have it here. I might just have to find it. But like, if you think Nuggets gonna win that first quarter, but but uh, Cleveland Cavaliers gonna win that game, then this bet right here is for you. Okay, that's just a self-explanatory explaining that for you guys. You know what I'm saying? So that's a bet that you can look at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's keep it moving to the next game here, and that'll be Oklahoma City Thunder and Miami Heat here, okay? Uh, we have a 15.5-point spread here. Miami Heat at home, uh, 220 over under this one. We don't have any props out. A bunch of questionable guys here. Of course, man, it's going to be Oklahoma City and nothing for me. Uh, the three ball is going to be in play for me for guys like Tyler Hero and uh, Duncan. Look out for them guys to knock that three ball down. And then... Um, Shea Gillis and Alexander, he's questionable, but man, this boy has had, this boy has been on fucking fire. Uh, he's had 29 points or better in, uh, in, in 13 of his last 15 games and three of those games were 29. So he's had, he's had 30 points or more in, t in 10 of his last 15. He's just been on, uh, on a heater, but I can't back him. I can't back him, man. You got, <laughs> I can't back him, man. You know, uh, you know, you can get something like a double double in the win for uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that boy Bam or something like that. You know, it is what it is with that shit. You know, oh, uh, I do, I did want to let you guys. Did I go to the double doubles over here for the for that next game? Yeah, so you can get a Mitchell Robinson double double for plus two sixty. All right, and then what else you got here? Let me see, one twenty five for uh. Julius Randle, that motherfucker Kuzma ain't rebounded the ball in so many weeks. All right, but I I, I had to because I'm gonna bet that I had to let you guys. I want to let you guys see that. All right, now uh, Indiana Pacers at Houston Rockets two thirty nine nine and a half over under in this one, and this is the environment that you're gonna want to see here. I mean, I think these are two of the top three. I think fastest paced teams in the league, and and what? I don't have a single prop for this one. So let's just, I mean, I do. I do, I do, I do. Because I'm going to lock it in real fast. Let me just go straight on over here to the assist prop. You don't get Tyrese Halliburton assist for uh, eight and a half. I'm taking that. I'm taking that eight and a half. Then after I take the eight and a half, I'm running right over here. And I'm taking this. Uh, I should have been took that shit before I even started recording. See how I be looking out for y'all? I'll just come right on here and, and talk my shit. But anyway. Halliburton plus one fifty for the double double. Um, Kevin Porter Jr. should be on double double watch tomorrow. We will see. Okay, now let me see something. We want plus one fifty for the double double. Hmm, what you got here? Plus one fifty eight for the ten assists. Hmm. 
So that's something. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to bet the double-double, shit, you might as well not. You might as well just come right here and bet the bet the uh, the 10 assists. Because he ain't getting to 10 rebounds. He probably will, but I'm, you get the drift. You get the drift. Now, you sitting over there, you see that big-ass plus 750 for, um, for, um, um, What's this boy named Kevin Porter Jr.? Yeah, because uh, he's got to come out there and drop some dimes, all right? Now, his assist prop is sitting at five and a half. I'm, I'm, I'm damn near finna make that official play. I just like the, I like this whole game environment, okay? Before I get to talking, let's uh, – well, I'm not ready to talk, but Isaiah Jackson will be out for this one. We know Miles Turner is out. And then, you know, uh, so they uh, – Gogo Bataza is questionable, okay? So – um, Jalen Smith, man, he's gonna be a double double candidate anywhere it go. With no Isaiah Jackson, he's gonna be a double double candidate. Okay, Jalen Smith, keep it, keep him on your keep it, keep him on your radar here. Um, let's see. Um, he's played 27, 27, 24, 28, 29, 29, 37 minutes, whatever the case may be. Um, last game he had fifteen and eight against Memphis. He had a double double against uh, Atlanta. Uh, and then he had 11 rebounds against the Spurs, 15 and 4, 15 and 6, two double followed by two double doubles. You know, he's got double double upside. You know, I'm going to the double double for him. Or but I gotta look at his numbers and shit when they when they put him out there. All right. Now Kevin Porter Jr., um, you know, I mean, uh, so he's hit this number two out of his last four games. That's cool. It, it I mean it is what it is, all right. Uh so, you know, it is what it is. The sweet spot's going to be four and a half for me when the alternates come out. Now, if you want to ladder his shit, because he's got, uh, he's had eight assists, five assists, four assists, ten assists. That's the key number that I really was looking for there, ten assists. But, you know, the five and a half, a six. If you want to go up to uh, eight, you'll get that at a plus 260. I, I'm going to have to sprinkle something on that. And then, like I said, a 10 plus 750, man. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Damn, if that motherfucker go out there and get 12 assists, uh, plus 1,700. Uh, Halliburton, uh, plus 430 at 12 assists. And 14 assists for Halliburton, plus 1050. Watch they go out there and get them assists, man. Watch. Michael Brogdon will be back. I'm going to have some interest in his three ball, for sure. Buddy Hill three ball should be in play. Christian Woods going to be in play. There's going to be a lot to like about this uh, game here. Um... Okay, so Halliburton has had 14. In his last 15 games, he had 11, 11, 14, 16, and 17 assists. Those are his high, highest totals in his last 15 games, okay? And, yeah, the three ball, I mean, it's in play. I mean, that three is definitely in jeopardy for uh, – uh, uh, Tyrese Halliburton, you get that at plus one fifty four, so you know you can get a decent number on that two piece for him, minus two fifteen. You know you I can get to that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about the rest of these guys. Do I wait? I wait to. I mean, Buddy Hill, of course, he's got you know uh, for the three for Buddy Hill, you get two threes for Halliburton and three threes for Buddy Hill at plus one eighteen. All right. Speaking of Buddy Hill, he's been getting in the assist category and the rebounds category. So, you know what I'm saying? His uh, peripherals game has been, you know, intact. You can look at PRAs for him. You know what I'm saying? Points, rebounds, and assists. Uh, his rebounds been looking at 7, 4, 5, 2, 8, 7, 6, 1, 6, 7, 5. Assists been like 2, 5, 6, 8, 7, 9. You know, it is what it is. I, I can't pick no side in this one. I can't pick no side in this one. Ain't no way. I'm going to be eating eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner off this game. New Orleans Pelicans at uh, San Antonio Spurs here. Um, 237 over under in this one. Uh, San Antonio Spurs favored by three and a half. San Antonio Spurs beat these guys with um, with uh, uh, with with McCollum and with uh, – what the fuck? Brandon Ingram, I think McCollum had 36 that game. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, they only got uh, props out for a few guys on the um, um, on the um, Pelican side. I mean, uh, San Antonio Spurs side. They got the wrong three. They got the wrong motherfuckers up here right now. Well, at least could have. I don't know why they don't have uh, Poto out there. Um, 
shit. I, I'm just going to wait on this game. I mean, we know what uh, DeJounte Murray, what he can do and who he is. Um, Keldon Johnson has been on fire as of late. So uh, that's something to uh, keep an uh, eye out on. I think he's had five threes, four threes in, in, in back-to-back games. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Now, uh, last time these two teams played, Jonas Valanciunas had a double-double, and uh, I believe Jakob Perto had a – no, Jakob Perto had a double-digit rebound, but he didn't uh, score double-digit points. Um, as far as New Orleans concerned, I mean, the over is 4-0 in their last four games as an underdog. The under is uh, 5-0 and in the Pelicans' last five games playing on two days rest. So that's a pick your poison type, type of thing. But then the shit's getting tricky. I don't know what team they gonna we're going to see because the over is 5-1 and one in their last six games overall. All right? So I don't know what that is, what they is, what what what, what we're going to see. You know what I'm saying? As far as the Spurs, I mean, the under is 4-1 in their last five games overall. Uh, the total of this game is going to be – Coming out at uh, two thirty-seven. This is definitely a tricky one because I know New Orleans they can bring some defense in in the sense. Uh, so you know, I guess you know what I'm saying. I guess, fam. I guess. But yeah, that last time these two teams played, they did go over the total. It was it was uh one fourteen to two to to one twenty-four. It went over this total by. One, so we can see where you know. Now we don't have Brandon Ingram for this one, you know. What I'm saying we will have uh, um, wh- whatever the fuck his name is, C.J. McCollum, and I'm waiting on his. I'm waiting on his prop, you know. what I'm saying his point prop. I'm, I'm interested to see what it's going to be, so I'm I'm probably going to end up trying to jump on that, you know. Boston Celtics at Sacramento Kings here. Um, 224 and a half over under here. Ah, I skipped over that Utah game, but I'm going to go. This is going to be quick. Um, right off the bat, we don't have any props for this one here. Oh, uh, we got some out now. Oh, uh, we did have some out. So the first person I see right now is Robert Williams. So let me run it back real fast. All right. Uh, I'm going to have some interest in the double double for him. Okay. Uh, double double for Robert Williams getting that plus one, that plus 125 right away, right now. All right, his single, I mean, you could, or you can get to his, uh, re, his rebound probably 10 and a half. And then what's his point prop is going to be at what, eight and a half? Oh, 10 and a half. All right. So, ah, uh, yeah, I think I'll take my chance with the double double prop there. Um, you know, I, I you know, I always, uh, throw this uh, a little play in there. You guys know the four, six, eight. I throw that in there all the time. You know, the four rebounds for the Jalen Brown. Seem like they always the ones that's already out. Uh, four, six rebounds for Jason Tatum, and then eight rebounds for Robert Williams. That always gets me plus money right there. All right, so those are some of the players that I don't mind throwing in my player pool for this game. Um, Jason Tatum, you know he's been dropping the bomb on. I mean, he's been dropping dimes as of late, and that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So his dam, his dimes are in play. All right, uh, Marcus Smart, his dimes, his dime prop is in play. You know what I'm saying? So uh. I have to do a little bit more research to see which one I want to get there, but it's definitely in play. And then the three ball, all right? Now, um, Jalen Brown, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this boy, man, but he needs to snap out of it. You know, he's going to – right now, he's he's sitting up here at an honorable mention now. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So, one three is not out of the realm of possibilities for uh, uh, Horford. And then, you know, two threes for Brown, two threes for Smart, uh, three threes for Jason Tatum. Of course, I'm not going to be playing all these. And then I might play this same game probably. I might. But, you know, these are some of the plays right here that I, you know, that I like. You guys, it's, it's the same every fucking time. You already know that. Um, I can only look towards, I mean, even though they're on the road, this could be one of those sneaky, stupid-ass spots. You know, Boston might want to act dumb in this spot here. But I can only look towards, I can only look towards Boston in this one. So uh, it's Boston or nothing. The player performance doubles. I'll be looking at those. I ain't gonna waste my time and look at none now. Uh, rewind it back. Let's go up to this Los Angeles Clippers at Utah Jazz here. A two eighteen and a half over under in this one. Uh, Utah Jazz favorite by seven here. Um, so we got a lot to talk about. A few things to talk about here. Let me just run it down to you guys real fast. All right, there's gonna be no uh, Donovan Mitchell here. Um, no Bonyan Bogdanovich either, okay? 
So um, Daniel House Jr. is out, all right? So we should see elevated minutes for somebody like uh, um, Rudy Gay, but I don't know. Uh, the one guy that I, I that I do have on my radar, and hopefully he puts they put him on the books. If they don't put him on the books, then you know the lookout for him live betting is going to be um, Nikhil Alexander Walker. Okay, so he's going to be somebody that I'm looking forward to. And then um, Runner Wancho Hernan Her Gomez did get 23 minutes last game, but you no know, going up against the Bulls. But you know it is what it is. But uh, Nikhil Alexander Walker. Uh, he will come in there, you know, he will come out, he'll, he'll come in there and, you know, do a little damage here and there, you know what I'm saying? He came in against the Bulls, played 22 minutes, uh, 16 points, four, four for eight, um, how many threes he hit? Three out of five threes, and uh, yeah, prior to that, he had only played uh, 20 minutes uh, twice with this for this team, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're going to really, really need him. Uh for the sake of, you know, all the injuries and shit like that, Russ O'Neal, his three-point prop is in play for me. So uh, that's going to be something that I can look toward to. Uh, his last two games, he hit three threes and two threes. He's hit one three in uh, 15 games straight. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Royce O'Neal has been, you know, hitting at least a three every single game here. We don't have our props for this game, not only but a couple of them. only thing I can look towards here is – um. Two threes or something like that for Marcus Morris and Reggie Jackson. And you can definitely get that at plus money. Because uh, Rudy Gobert will be down there. And they will be have, having to shoot that long ball for sure. Um, speaking of Rudy Gobert, um, he just gave the Bulls 20 rebounds. He can give these guys 20 rebounds, okay? So it's going to be interesting to see what his rebound prop is. But, you know, I don't have a lean in this one yet. I need to see who's going to be in and out. Uh, moving along to the last game on the slate, my Chicago Bulls at Phoenix Suns. Yes, this has been a long video, 230 over under in this one. Six and a half uh, point favorites the Phoenix Suns are, and uh, we need to need we need we injury news on these guys too. Uh, the Bulls just played these guys, and they lost by three. Uh, Levine and DeRozan had 30 points apiece. Um, I mean, 30 points are better apiece. Uh, Vucevic had a double-double. And, um, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, hold on, let me close my motherfucking window because this motherfucker out here calling David and David roughing him and all this. <laughs> but, yeah, man, uh, so yeah, yeah. So, right off the back, we don't have any, we got any props out here. <sighs> only the Bulls props here, and what I do want to tell you guys, and what's been going on, and I were, and I've been riding this here, you know, uh, assist prop. All right, now everybody and their mama they're gonna be on um, um, Booker's assist, and uh, what's the other guy name? The point guard for you know they're gonna be on his assist too. But you gotta take a look at uh, Demar Derozan. They keep giving it to us, man. Four and a half. Uh, sitting at four and a half, I'm gonna have to take a stab at it because I've been hitting off of it. But you know, he's had he's had he's had assists in the area of seven, six, six, four, eight, five, eight, three, 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 six, seven, five, six, four. That's his last fifteen. Even if you want to get to a four, you know what I'm saying? Be my guest. I mean, it is what it is. You might be able to steal some on the three side when the alternates come out. But I'm definitely gonna spring some spring, sprinkle some on it because the boy knows how to play the ball. He know how to play the game, okay? Now, um, um, Zach Levine, Zach Levine is questionable right now. Um, Jay Crowder is questionable. Um, hold on. Yeah, Jay Crowder is questionable. So you know, if Crowder can't go, we'll get somebody like Tory Craig. Tory Craig can shoot the three ball. Uh, he's hit uh, three threes uh, better in uh, two of his in his last two games, so that's something to look at there. But um, not gonna get too far off into this game, man. That's gonna be it. I don't have a lean in this one. You guys be safe. Get that money.